Gamebusters.com. You see Ben Askren, 10 and 0 undefeated. Only four finishes. Be ready for a long, grueling, difficult fight. That's what Carl Amasu has in front of him. Jimmy and I are set. The fighters are set. Here's Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, live on Spike Bellator MMA along with Winstar World Casino now present five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Welterweight World Championship sanctioned by the Chickasaw Nation Office of Gaming Commissioner Matthew Morgan and brought to you tonight by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator MMA. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. And now, introducing first the red corner at 5 foot 11, weighing in at 167.4 pounds. The tournament champion tonight brings 16 professional victories, four defeats with two draws. Hailing from Paris, France, introducing Carl Psycho Amasu. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the blue corner. At 5 foot 10, he weighed in at 169.8 pounds. In his third title defense, he stands undefeated. 10 victories, no defeats. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the defending Bellator welterweight world champion, Funky Ben Askren. And the referee in charge of the action, Jason Herzog. This Bellator World Welterweight World Championship fight is under the unified rules of MMA. It is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, buddy, are you ready? Buddy, are you ready? Let's fight! The bell in round number one. Carl Amasu known for his explosiveness, his power. Oh, good right hand. Our ben Askren needs to get this to the, to the ground now. Our fight clock is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. I'm assuming the white trunks, the champion Askren in the black trunks. This is how Askren, this is, I'm sorry, how Amasu wants to fight on the outside, but he's on his back already. Close guard from Amasu. Amasu leading up this fight, very confident in his ground game. He said, I'll submit him, I'll sweep him once he's on top. That is easier said than done. Amasu looking to be very active off of his back from close guard. Elbow from Asprey. Going for the straight arm. Inverted arm bar. Right to the rip cage. Ben Askren knows that Carl Amos is most dangerous in this opening round. I don't expect him to do that much in the beginning. He's going to land his ground and pound. He's going to try and stay safe. Big shots from Askren. Askren opens his guard, repositions his ankles, and closes. Be with us next week for Bellator MMA Live on Spike, beginning Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and it will be the quarterfinal round of the lightweight tournament. This is for the welterweight world championship, Carl Amasu, earning this world title shot by virtue of becoming a Bellator tournament champion versus the Bellator welterweight world champion, Ben Askren. This is what so many fighters have trouble with, the pressure of Ben Askren. He doesn't have devastating ground and pound. He just doesn't quit. Just keeps it, keeps it on you the whole time. He never stops. Great hit pressure. Very hard to submit. It's hard to get him off his game when he's on top. Amasu throwing a lot from his back. Asker missing with that right hand. Back to the right hand. That landed. Elbow from Amasu and another. Very active with his strikes from his back. But you have to use that to set something up. Strikes from the bottom are never going to be as effective as strikes from the top. You can't trade strikes when you're on the bottom. Look at the wrist control from Askren. I'm soon up bringing his man in close. 
This is what Ben Askren said he was going to do. He said, yeah, he's explosive, he's dynamic. But wait until I wear him down. Now he's cut over the left eye is Carl Amasu. Cut in the brow. Now what we see from a lot of fighters, they have a game plan, they think I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and then Ben Askren just stays on them the whole round, it's very disheartening. It's going hard for the armbar now. Big shot, looking for the armbar, back to close guard. Amasu continuing to throw from his back, Askren with his heavily favored top game. One minute remaining in round one of this Bellator World Title fight. Joe Schmo Show, Tuesday, 10 p.m. Eastern on Spike. As I was saying, a lot of guys get disheartened because they have a game plan and Ben Askren won't let them implement it at all. You know, I like what I'm seeing from Ben Askren in terms of his ground and pound. Doing a lot more damage than he's done in previous fights from this position. Closing stages of this opening round. Is this what you expected, Jimmy? Yeah, this pretty much is. Look at those elbows, though. He's doing a good job of slicing up Carl Amasu. Amasu cut. You see the blood on his forehead in his left brow. Script back to the elbows. Amasu sticking to the close guard and Askren holding his top position. This is the shot that opened up the cut above the eye of Carl Amasu. who's a short elbow right there. And then you see him targeting it later. Same thing, right elbow over the top. Look for him to work that the entire fight. Round number two, scheduled for five five-minute rounds. This fight for the Bellator welterweight world title. Jimmy, how did you score round one as Amasu misses that head kick? 10-9, Ben Askren. Right hand by Askren. Tend to stand here in the opening stages of round two. No, he's not. He's coming in for the takedown. I think he may have heard me on cue. Uh, ben Askren on the bottom. We don't see a lot of this. Close guard from Askren. Big wide base from Amasu. Going hard for the heel hook. He's rolling for it. That's how he finished Brian Baker. If he doesn't tap, keep rolling. That is inverted. Big trouble here. Nope. Back to the regular heel hook. Amasu locked it on and was talking to referee Jason Herzog. You cannot do that. The opponent's not tapping. Referee's not going to stop it. I don't care what popping you hear. Askren didn't seem troubled at all. A big mistake by Carl Amasu. Almost surreal as Amasu was talking to Herzog. And break it. Don't worry about what the referee's going to do. Another elbow from Askren. Frank Muir once said it. He goes, I go to break it. You tap, good for you. But that's what I'm going for. He took, took his focus off the leg lock. Now he's in big trouble. Don't get a lot of opportunities with Ben Askren on his back. The cut in Amasu's left brow that opened in round one is really flowing blood here in round two. Ray right hand from the champion, Ben Askren. This is the demoralizing I'm talking about. Look at the back of his head is on the canvas. He's just eating shots. You can be explosive, you can be a physical, but a guy in good position, all of that goes away. It's a big elbow from Askren. More elbows from the top than we've seen before from Ben Askren. Yeah, much improved ground and pound from the champ. Or a rescue Sunday, February 10th on Spike. Now that he has a target over the eye, look for him to target that elbow over and over. You know, it seems like guys, you know, you look at him every time we see Ben Askren fight, and they look shocked that they're on their butt the whole time. Even though it happens to everybody else, it's not going to happen to you, but it does. 
You know, it's that same look of frustration on every opponent's face that, that face has been asking. Blood can be very demoralizing to some fighters. Other fighters don't care at all. The reality is, the blood gets in your eye and is very difficult to see. These are the positions that Carl Amosu has to explode from. And he just can't do that. Look at that heavy top game of Ben Askren. And don't expect Ben Askren to get tired of these positions. He's been grappling his whole life. Nearly has full mount. More right hands from Askren. And Ben predicted a second round TKO. If he pulls it on, he might get it now. Because Amosu looks totally spent. These are some good shots. Some of the most powerful we've seen from Ben Askren. Look at referee Jason Hers off top of your screen, moving ever closer. Man, his face is just a mask of blood. Ben Askren said he wanted to finish in this fight. He might get it. One-way traffic at the moment for Ben Askren. Another big right hand. Who can't find the exit? Elbow. Because positionally, Ben Askren has not given him one. Very tight with the hips, just nowhere to go. Askren turning up the punching volume, looking for the TKO. This might be it. Amosu can't show the referee something. This is going to be over. Amosu holding half guard, eating a lot of shots from the top. More shots from Askren. I'm just trying to answer back, show the referee something, but... Man, he's getting teed off on. Final seconds of round two. Can Askren finish? Amasu trying to hold on. We'll go to round three. Time. This is the 23rd pro MMA fight for Carl Amasu, and this is just the fifth time in his career that he has gone to the third round, never passed three. I've never given him a third round in a fight. Cardio has been an issue in the past. Right now it's okay, but it starts going down for the Checked these out cuts, by the okay? cage side physician. These cuts, okay? They're looking at them. We are going to continue. Let's go back. Ben Askren, meanwhile, this is his 11th pro MMA fight. He has Good gone round, the full Father 25 Ready? minutes, Ready? all five That's rounds right. in three of his last four fights. This is what Askren lives for. Deep water, dragging guys down. Jimmy, 10-9 or 10-8 for Askren round two? I gave it 10-9 just because Carl Amosu did have his moments with that heel hook. But you can easily call that a 10-8 round. So 2018 for the champion Ben Askren on your unofficial scorecard. Very true. And here we are again. Amosu trying the whole guillotine. Did not find it, not even close. Askren pops his head free back to the right hand. Back to the heavy, smothering top game. That was the one knock on Ben Askren. He was great positionally, but didn't do a lot of damage with his ground and pound in previous fights. I think that's a gap he has worked very hard to fill. I'm impressed with his ground and pound this time around. Holding half guard. This is the kind of thing that wears you out, carrying another guy on top of you, and it is killer. Ben Askren, so much heavy top pressure just squeezes the life right out of you. We told you about it earlier in our broadcast of Bellator MMA live on Spike. Coming to Spike is Tattoo Rescue. If you knew a tattoo shop or tattoo artist that needs help, go online to tattoorescue.spike.com. And big right hand by Ben Askren. Carl Amasu just doesn't seem to have much left. All defense for the Frenchman Carl Amasu. All offense for the American, the Olympian, the Bellator welterweight world champion Ben Askren. Now, this is as good as I've ever seen Ben Askren look. I agree. He's just putting it on, Carl. The beginning of the fight, 
During Amasu's walk-in, Jimmy, I used the words for Amasu. Explosive, dynamic, at times devastating. He's really been none of the three in this fight. He's been stuck on his back. No one's that explosive from your back with a guy like this on top of you. Amasu cut in the left brow in round one. But been flowing freely ever since. Yeah, I don't see the doctor letting this continue. If this, if, if, if they check out this cut, I think they stop this fight because there's blood everywhere. The chief second at trainer of Carl Amasu is his older brother, pride veteran Bertrand Amasu. Does he let this fight continue? I don't know if I would, to be honest with you. I mean, he hasn't, he hasn't shown me anything. You know, you got to show me something. Show me you have an answer to this game. And right now he has, and I wouldn't let him go out there and take more. Do you think like a chief second or like an older brother? Uh, if you're going to be a chief second, think like a chief second. I don't care if the guy in there is your son or your brother, you're a chief second before anything else right now. Does that a dynamic, though, doesn't it? It, it certainly does. Look at that. Amasu absolutely stuck on his back. Right now, look, he's not offering anything back. He's trying to hang on, trying to hold on, but if he doesn't show something, they got to stop this fight. And the thing is that Aspen hasn't landed that big punch that has rocked him, that's really hurt him. You know, he's cut him up, he sliced him up well, but it hasn't really had him rocked enough where Jason Herzog could stop this fight. And obviously, to his credit, he's moving, he's slipping, he's intelligently defending himself. 115 if, remaining in round three. Yeah, but if this goes another minute 13, I don't see the doctor letting this keep going. I, I just don't see him allowing this fight to continue. Trying to push him off, look like it might be a heel hook there, but I don't see him getting that. Just an overwhelming accumulation of blows from this top position of Ben Askren. Thomas is still holding half guard. See here, about to pass. He sneaks that lead through side control. And Askren sitting through on his hip, now stepping over into full mount. Can he find the finish in the closing seconds of round three? I think this is going to be it. Jason Herzog telling Amasu, you've got to move. 20 seconds left. Can Askren finish? Amasu still throwing back. Final seconds of round three. And we will. No, 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 please. No, no, we can't. We can't. I can't. It's a time. Yeah. Carl Amasu's left eye is right a disaster. Here. I'm right here. Fully closed. I mean, that left eye in the brow. So, I don't see how they can let this fight continue. I, I honestly don't see it. He can clearly not see out of his left eye. Multiple cuts over the eye. So I'm going to stop it. He's getting free. Yeah, I'm going to let it in. Is that okay? Carl, Carl, we've got to stop the fight. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Totally agree with that stoppage. His face was a bloody mess. On no the point going out there for the next round. Survive round three, but due to a physician stoppage, unable to answer the bell for round four. So that will go down as a third round TKO. Five minutes for Ben Askren as he retains his Bellator welterweight world title in absolutely dominant fashion. Unbelievable job. Brutal grounded pound. That is a scary champ right there. Now forget, forget the physique, forget the explosiveness, forget all the knockouts. Our fight replay is brought to you by the Outrageous Comedy Movie 43 in theaters tomorrow. Now look at this display on top, ground and pound from beginning to end. Carl Amasu opened up so badly. And just great ground and pound by Ben Askren. That positional dominance we've always seen from Ben, but he turned over his elbows beautifully throughout this fight. Just unloading on Carl Amasu from start to finish. What can you say about dominance? Total, complete dominance.
Carl Amasu did not quit between rounds three and four. His corner, led by his brother, Bertrand Amasu, did not stop the fight. This is TKO due to physician stoppage. Difficult to argue that. Ben Askren, 28 years old, 11 and 0 in his pro MMA career, as he successfully defends his Bellator welterweight world title. I got him back over here, though. Let's send it now to Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, upon the completion of three rounds of action, the cage side the physician makes the call. Referee Jason Herzog, upon his advice, waves a halt to this contest. Therefore, the winner by TKO and still the Bellator welterweight world champion, Funky Ben Askren. Let's go to Jimmy. I'm here with your winner and still the champion, Ben Askren. Ben, as dominant as we have ever seen you in the Bellator cage. Beautiful ground and pound, my man. Tell me how you're feeling. Great, man. I told you guys it was just a matter of time until my hands got some power in them. Uh, I'm dominant positionally, and my hands got power. If you're a welterweight anywhere in the world, better watch out. I'm coming. You heard it, of course, a bunch of guys in the quarterfinals tonight moving on for a chance to face you. Tell me what you think of the competition at 170. Uh, it's just the same thing I said yesterday. I think Douglas Lima is the best guy there. Ben Saunders is probably going to meet him in the finals. He's got a tough fight with Weedman, but uh, I got a Russian that I need to handle some business with. So I must break you. You know who he's referring to? Andre Koreshkov, the striker out of Russia. He can't feel good about his chances after that performance, Bjorn. That's as dominant a performance as I have ever seen, brother. Congratulations, great work. It, the winner and still welterweight champion, Ben Askren. Give it up for him. Three.